Hi, this is uh, this video is on series and parallel, and this is part two of the series. Uh, so here we have a we have a new we have a new circuit, and if you notice, you have you have uh, several resistors. You have R one, and then you have this these three res resistors which are in parallel. Well, these are in series and these are in parallel. So I mean, how do you handle this? So let's go through that right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to combine this this parallel circuit so you want to change it so it's in series but before you can combine these let's we need to change this one to a single resistor so let's go ahead and do that so right now we're only going to be working on these guys right here that's it so working on that this is a series so this is a series portion we're going to combine i'm going to call this new when I combine these two, I'm going to have a new resistance, and I'm going to call that RA. So I'm going to say RA is equal to R2 plus R3, and R2 is 2 ohms, and R3 is 4. So the new resistor RA is equal to 6 ohms. Now let's redraw the circuit. So now we're going to have, this is what the circuit's going to look like now. Now we're going to have a single resistor here, which we're going to call RA. And we're still going to have this other resistor, R4, which is equal to 6 ohms. And RA is also equal to 6 ohms. And this one, R1, is equal to 10 ohms. So there you go. Now, um, if you look at the circuit, I just connected it straight to this corner. Which it doesn't really matter if I connect it here, if I connect it here, or over here, because it's all still in it's all still in uh, it's still parallel because of the way they're connected it here as a single. It, it's it, electrically it's a still a single point, so uh, or it's still a straight line. So now let's let's combine these two, this parallel circuit. So we're going to turn that into a series one. So right now we're only going to be working with these resistors, and we're going to change those. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is uh, the resistance in parallel is equal to 1 over RA plus 1 over R4. And 1 over RA is equal to 6 ohms. And the other one's equal to 6 ohms. So you're going to get 2 over 6. So I'm just going to flip them. So the resistance in parallel is equal to 6 over 2, which is equal to 3 ohms. And now we're going to redraw the circuit one more time, now that we have the resistance in parallel. So now, we're going to have the power supply, we're going to have R1, which is equal to 10 ohms. And we're going to have this new one, which we're going to call RP, which is the resistance in parallel, which is equal to 3 ohms. So now that we have them in this shape, now they're, now they're both in series. So now we can just add them regular, regularly as if they're in series. So now we're going to say the total resistance is equal to R1 plus the resistance in parallel. So R1 is equal to 10 ohms plus RP, which is 3 ohms. So the total resistance of that circuit is equal to 13 ohms. And this circuit over here uh, you know, I'm just going to copy real quick. So this whole circuit. Oh, I can't fix it. Here we go. So this whole circuit right here. Let me shrink it down just a little bit. This whole circuit that, that we just redid is exactly the same as this circuit that that we just that we just made so we got so the total resistance is equal to 13 ohms so this circuit right here this one this whole circuit is electrically the same as this one so if you took R1 and R2, 3, and 4, and you combine them all together, uh, you would get a total resistance of 13 ohms. So if you put your 
your your your ohm meter and you connect it to here and to anywhere down here you would get a total of 13 ohms and that's how you solve this problem so I really hope you enjoyed the video I hope it makes sense if not don't worry about it uh, I'll put out a, a couple more videos on just this topic and I'm gonna make the circuits look much worse in the future ones so <laughs> Uh, looking forward to those. So I uh, hope you liked the video, and if you did, please like it, and um, good luck in your classes.